It's time to learn, repair, and maintain everything coffee. Instructional videos brought to you by WholeLatteLove.com. Hi, this is Todd with Whole Latte Love. Today we're going to talk about cleaning and calibrating the grinder on your Gajabrera. You normally don't have to get in there, but if for some reason the grinder is operating, but there's no beans getting pulled in, then something's plugged up and we want to get inside and take a look. This is something you can send in for us to do, but you may want to try it at home, and if so, this is how you do it. Okay, first thing, obviously, is unplug it. Don't. Don't want to electrocute anybody. Yeah, that would take the fun out of it. <laughs> yeah. Then we'll turn it around, get at it, take the top off, put the glasses on. Huh. Okay, um, first we'll do is take off this piece here. This is a finger guard, Phillips head screwdriver for this. It just loosens and comes right out. This big the fatter part here of all the circles or the diameters here. So that that goes up against there. We don't care where the grind setting is at now, it doesn't matter. A T10. That's a Torx. Torx, yep. Torx head. You can get it at Home Depot or wherever you got. Hopefully you'll, maybe a local hardware store. Uh -huh. um, buy local. And don't lose these. Um, I suggest finding a cup to put them in so they don't roll away. Not that I've ever done that before. No. Nah, no, never. <laughs> okay, so three of those. These are the silver ones that are coming out. We'll have some black ones shortly. Pull this off, and this gasket here comes off with it. We'll worry about that later when we put it back together. Okay, now the top will come off. Lift the back, and just slides right off. That's easy. Yeah, real easy. This is actually a very easy machine to get in. The service guys like this machine a lot. Then we have uh, two screws to take out here. Again, T10s. These are black ones. One there, and one here. Okay, set them off to the side. The case will come apart very easy like that. This whole top comes right off. Set that to the side. Now look inside. If you find that this whole area here is full of coffee. It's just packed in here or maybe a lot around here. Um, odds are this chute here is broken. We'll get in later how to replace that. But let's assume for right now that the chute's fine. Everything You just want to take this apart and clean it. Okay, you notice this white line here. That's gonna be facing over here when we're done. We have to take off this upper burr part here, the upper burr plate. You push down on this. Sorry if my hands get in the way, but then you, you, you twist this. You gotta push, see that? Goes way down like that. Turn that till it stops. Then that pulls right out. When you put it together, it's just gonna reverse the process. Okay. Look in here. Now in here, this is, this is from just normal use right here. This is not a clog grinder. And notice the beans are kinda light. If you use an oily bean, um, it may have a tendency more to get plugged up. And there's a, there's a chute that goes from here you see how that's going in? All the way over here. Go ahead and shine your camera down there. You see when I push? See that? Yeah. Okay. It comes out the other side. That's a neat little tool you're using there. Yeah. What is I'll that? I'll show you that thing. It's a Palo tool brush. We have them on the website. Okay. Now look down in here again. There's a little flap. See that metal flap? Yep. Be careful of that when you're cleaning it. You don't want to uh, pull back on that. It kind of comes out at an angle like this. So you would clean that out. Clean this out, and then uh, we'll get a vacuum cleaner and vacuum it out. Now, I'm not going to go crazy on it and make a big deal out of it right now because. Uh, Obviously, it's pretty clean, but you if you have some oily beans again there or something, you may have to do a really good clean job. Uh, take a look at the burrs. They're ceramic burrs. If you get a stone in here, it's possible they could get cracked because uh, they are very hard. They're not pliable at all. Okay, let's say it's clean, or let's say it's not clean. Let's say you had this packed with coffee, so you have to go to the next step and take this whole piece out of here and place the chute, okay? Uh, right now, the wires that go to are coming through here. You may find wires coming over here. Different years that of manufacture may be a little bit different. But very simple, come pulls right up. These little, uh, that circle there goes on some little tabs here, but then when we do the reinstallation, we'll go over that. 
Uh, you want to pull the white wire goes on top. There's a little tab on this. You want to pull if you want to pull the wires off right there. Got to push down on that and it comes out. I don't know if you can see that. You, yeah. So okay, you got a good view of that. Yep. Okay, excellent. I'm going over here, same thing. Comes out. Now remember, this could be cake with coffee. If this is cake with coffee, you've got to get a real good cleaning on this. Uh, I would suggest getting a some compressed air. Well, first vacuum it so you don't blow coffee all, all right. over the place. Uh, then if you get some compressed air, blow that out. Clean this out real good over here. Uh, make sure this is just as clean as you can get it. Vacuum out inside here. Take the spring out before you vacuum so you don't suck that up in there or you'll be... Uh, that, where was that spring? I I'm sorry. Missed that, that, was, that was right on there. Okay. Or if you have a shop vac, you'd be taking up and digging through everything inside. Yeah, no like, fun. like I haven't done that a million times. <laughs> uh, so just basically just get it clean. That's really all it's about. Okay. Putting it back together. White goes on top. Clicks in place. Black. Now, when you put these on, put, they, put it with this side facing out. In case you ever have to get in there again. If those clips are facing in, they're harder to get. Ah, uh, so you can get at those yeah. little clippies. From the manufacturer, they should be like that anyways. Yep. We gotta go onto there. And this the setter. Oh, I'm sorry. Back to the chute for a second. First of all, make sure this piece is here. When you put it together, you can't lose this piece. Uh, and if the chute's cracked, you'll know it. You move it around, you'll see a fracture in here, and you can tell. Then it'll just pull right off. And this, you can pull. You got to pull pretty hard to get a good one off. So I wouldn't bother taking it off. Mm -hmm. And so, see everything's fine. Life is good. Gonna put her back together. Drop that down on the spring. These these pieces here have to go on the posts. And this, if you take this rubber piece off, that nipple part faces up. That's important. Push it down into place. A little springy. Everything's good. And then those wires, you want to make sure those are running the right way. Oh place, yeah, thank right? you very much. Stick the wires down in the little grooves. And those could be coming from the other side. Like yeah, they could might be coming through there. Okay. Uh, you got to put your burr plate on the upper burr plate. Remember the white line. Now you may not have a white line, uh, but this can only go on one way, which is nice. Uh, so when you look down, you can see this, this hole here. You can see that tab lines up with that there. Line up like that, then fit it right down in there. Now, just for the record, it's about 11 teeth from here to here, if you need some point of reference. Probably when you take it apart, if it doesn't have a white line, maybe mark it put a little magic marker or something on there. Mm -hmm. So you push down on this and you turn this, sorry about getting the hand in the way again, right. but turn that to get the white line is right there. Okay, got a good look at that? Lines yep. right up with that. That's calibrated. Now it's just a matter of putting it all back together. Top goes on. Oh, do you want that uh, rubber? Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I would have put it all together. I had to pull it back out again. Yeah. Like I haven't done that before, too. Okay, these pieces, they go right in these little grooves here. And you're spreading the case just a little bit yep. so it drops exactly. down in there. You got it. And that's perfectly okay to do. Oh, yeah. It's uh, it's actually pretty flexible. You see, they move real easy. Yep. Snap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And we'll... Use the black ones inside here. Again, T10 tool. Obviously, don't crank them down and strip them. Okay, this fits in and goes down. Uh, the gasket. Yeah, the gasket. Gotta get the gasket on right. That could always be a little fight, so excuse me if it takes me a couple minutes. twisted <laughs> so you want to try and get that sort of like untwisted before that sets in there yeah next time you get the camera going you're untwisted before you put it in yeah <laughs> well, let's see that looks pretty good this looks like the hardest part of the whole thing <laughs> get that gasket in there yeah as you notice I'm really focusing hard here yeah a little piece of rubber. Okay, uh, 
Then when you put your bean hopper on, or six settings, set it to number three, okay? That goes to number three. You can do a little jimmy in to get it in there. Okay, then move it like that. Okay, as long as it's not moving, you know it's in place. Then we get our three, whoop, whoop, there she goes. Three silver, silver colored screws. Snug, not over tight. And then we put the finger guard back on. This is a uh, this is what keeps our machines to be UL approved for safety. Phillips head screw. Tighten her down. Don't crank it. Just that's good right there. And that really is all there is to it. Okay, I got this grind here. Just want to just do a quick review. When you're uh, you're putting the uh, the burr in, remember your white line is over like that about that far away. If the grinder's not operating to have this apart, there's a couple things you can check. These little spring wires here. You can hear it clicking there. Mm -hmm. Make sure that's in place. That's in place. If they're gone, broken, burnt, or something, uh, you're gonna need to replace those. But those should be contacting those tabs. Yeah, that's very important, they're contacting the tabs. Okay. Mm -hmm. So basically, that's all there is to it. So if you have a problem, where the grinder's operating, but it's not brewing, and you think it might be clogged, again, oily beans, if you have flavored beans, something with vanilla, that could cause this. So we always recommend not to use the oily beans anyways. We prefer something a little lighter roast anyways. Uh, so that's really basically all there is to it. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee, brought to you by wholelottelove.com. It's time to learn, repair, and maintain everything coffee. Instructional videos brought to you by WholeLatteLove.com. Hi, this is Todd with Whole Latte Love. Today we're going to talk about cleaning and calibrating your grinder on your Gaja Brera. You normally don't have to get in there, but if for some reason the grinder is operating, but there's no beans getting pulled in, then something's plugged up and we want to get inside and take a look. This is something you can send in for us to do, but you may want to try it at home, and if so, this is how you do it. Okay? First thing, obviously, is unplug it. Don't. Don't electrocute anybody. <laughs> yeah, that would take the fun out of it. Yeah. Then we'll turn it around, get at it, take the top off, put the glasses on. Huh. Okay. Um, first we'll do is take off this piece here. This is a finger guard, Phillips head screwdriver for this. It just loosens and it comes right out. This big the fatter part here of all the circles or the diameters here. So that that goes up against there. We don't care where the grind setting is at now, it doesn't matter. A T10. That's a Torx. Torx, yep. Torx you can get it Home Depot.